Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, today I wanted to show off the little pack I made with uh, 15 audio effect tracks. Uh, you've probably seen the video I uploaded just a few hours ago. Um, and uh, right now I want to go over all of the things that are in the pack and um, kind of show you around how it works. All right, so I've loaded them up on an audio track. These are all the effect tracks that are in the pack. And as you can see, we start off with this ambience one. This allows you to dial in reverb and delay. Um, and it's very useful because the, the filtering, the input filtering is controlled by this macro for both the delay and the reverb. So you never have to worry about muddy reverbs by turning this up. And um, you can also exclude certain frequencies from the delay, uh, all with the same buttons. And then you have here, you have the controls for the reverb in green and the delay in yellow. The second one is an auto filter. Now the auto filter uh, kind of works like the auto pan um, effect, but with filters. So um, you can set the offset between the two and you can set at the phase overall of both of the oscillator of both of the uh, left channel and the right channel. And uh, you can set uh, certain frequency controls here and you can set the LFO amount. You can set the shape here, which kind of, um, goes in be uh, between all different kinds of shapes and you kind of need to hear exactly what's going on as well as the rate is uh, the final control here. Then we have a distortion unit with an amp, an overdrive and a saturator, uh, all with their own controls. We have a fattener here, uh, which uses uh, a few different things. We have some drives, some glue compressor, uh, the OTT and uh, this bus and boom stuff which actually uses the drum bus uh, to process it so it's a different way of processing uh, we have glitch machines which uh, i believe i've shown up before on stream um, it uses uh, two different types of glitchy effects we have beat repeat version here which you can turn up the dry wet for as well as a um, delay based version here and then we have distortion on it and sample rate reduction and uh, next up we have the granulizer here and this is based on the granular delay and it allows you to um, get some really glitchy delay sounds or some normal ones uh, you can uh, turn on synchronized timing uh, it's a little bit difficult to see if you really want to see what's going on for example you can just open it up uh, sometimes it's a little bit hard to exactly see where everything is uh, but you can see here, for example, if you check the timing and you really want to see which timing you have set here, you can see that. Uh, but I like to keep them uh, turned down or uh, in this state here and just kind of play with them. Uh, next up, we have a metalizer, which has uses the flanger and the chorus as well as um, some other effects to add uh, metallic sounds to um, to your your input sound and uh, based on two different effects we have a dry wet here and then we have a, a grain delay version as well here which you can also set uh, different tones and everything for and we have the omni compressor where I basically took a bunch of different compressors and put them into one we have the multiband compression here we have um, a limiter here which uh, is just here because the controls were easier here uh, the signal path for this one is multiband compressor and it goes through the normal slash glue compressor which are two parallel compressors and you can set amount and timing for those and then finally we have the the limiter as our last stage here and it also comes with a dry wet feature so you can uh, set this par as parallel compression as well which is really powerful and it allows you to dial in some nice dynamics then we have the quick EQ, which has a high pass feature, a low pass feature, and two bands here with all the controls that you need. And it just allows you to quickly dial in some tones without having to really look at it. And it's more, uh, encourages more that feeling of um, EQing by ear. If you're into that, then this is um, a nice rack for you. We have quick master. If you ever need to quickly uh, dial in some, uh, some tones for your mastering, um, 
for your master, like a quick master. This is obviously not for your final project, um, although it might be useful if you have a good mix, then uh, this can also work as a, um, a good mastering. But it has some compression, some limiting, and it has some allows you to mono the bass line and it allows you to add some stereo boost to the high end. It has an air which kind of slightly boosts the high end and it finally has some blue compression. Then we have the resonators. Um, we have the intense version and the non-intense version. I've shown this off a lot on my channel. There's different uh, tutorials all over my uh, channel that use these two racks. Uh, basically these allow you to um, add four uh, resonating harmonics um, or four resonating frequencies all tuned to the same key uh, to a sound and it will follow the, the um, basically the envelope of that sound and it allows you to, to make some controls here down below and we have the intense version and the not so intense version uh, we have stereoizer which uses a, diff a few different types of um, stereo uh, um, basically stereo enhancement tools. Uh, there are different things like having a phaser and a flanger on the left and the right channel. We have uh, saturating the left channel differently from the right channel. We have the Haas effect here. Uh, we have the dimension expander and we have some side um, air which kind of boosts the high end in the side. You also have a high pass for the side so you can take out all the muddy frequencies. So basically a all around stereo tool um, then we have tone and comp. This is um, uh, this is a resonator, I believe, and a comb filter. So uh, two very powerful uh, sound design tools, which uh, you can use to dial in some cool um, sounds. Um, yeah, and then finally we have the first of format plugs, which I've also shown off before. Um, these are uh, this is a uh, complete format filter inside Ableton Live using the EQ and it's a, one of the most complex um, audio effect tracks in this pack and you can see we have nested effect track into nested effect track with multiple tracks here which all have different controls and you can see this frequency controls here do a whole bunch of things and basically it allows you to switch between four different um, of these format filters here down below and set the resonance, set the frequency, set the format amount and those kinds of things. Um, so I hope you enjoy this pack. It's a free download. Um, there's a link in the description and um, there's also a, another video on the channel with um, it kind of demos the, the whole thing a little bit. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.